What's up, guys? What's up? What's going on? It's live. We're going live again this morning. Let's see what we got here. Are we live? I think we're live. Live stream online. You can see I'm already in here on VIPS. Uh oh. What's up, Bob? First one in the chat. You get the award of the day for the first one in. See if we can make some moves here on VIPS. What's up? What's up? What's up? We're going it. We're doing it. I'm actually already in a trade here. VIPS, guys. So I'm getting squeezed here. I might have to cover for a $100 loss here in a second. Get some, let's get some good some good juju going my way. Let's get some, uh, some energy towards this trade so I can get this to crash down. Yeah, I might have got a little. I might have got a little excited here about VIPS. It was crashing down this morning. You can see that high. It was a gapper, gap down. Yesterday it was at eleven eleven. Now we got this gap. It had this top here at ten sixty, and I'm short. I thought we were gonna get this break of ten fifteen. It was looking really weak. There was a lot of sellers stacking up, and then someone absorbed all that ten fifteen. So now they're holding it up. So we'll see. If you don't make at least 10,000 a day, oh man, a lot of pressure. I might lose 10,000 on this trade alone. You're refreshing your YouTube every, every second. That's pretty awesome. Oh man, 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 come on. You know, make some moves here. VIPS, we're just stuck there now. Couple stocks that are gapping down. A couple stocks gapping down a day that we're looking at. So, cut the loss down. Start fresh for your audience coming in. Ah, it's okay. You guys can. You guys can see. You can see I shorted it there. Got a really bad entry. Kind of got a. Uh, got a little excited about this one. Do I ever look at the daily chart? Yeah, I look at the daily chart. So you're saying got resistance at the 1018 area. Yeah, yeah, the support. I see that. I see that. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna turn the blue behind me, turn it to red. Where's it go to red? Let me see. Go to red. Oh, I got the red background. That looks really weird, but Now going back to blue. It's going back to blue. We might go to green here in a second. All right, here we go. Come on, VIPS, do the crash. Let's crash this. 1016, 1050 area. If we can break through that, I think we'll get a nice drop here. Got to get this crack. Yeah, Alibaba, the big boy is going crazy today. What do I think about F-E-N-G? What do I think about F-E-N-G? -E Let's see. Uh... Gap down, not a lot of volume so far. Had a nice little run yesterday. I think I traded this once yesterday. Yeah, it could, it could do something. F E N G could be a nice short later on, but look at that buyer there at 390 holding it up. V I P S, come on. Let's get this crack. 1016 crack, let's go. Difference in colors you got the red, got the yellow. The blue, I think, is what's the blue? I haven't, I'm not even sure about that. Good question. Turn to green. It's better. Yeah, yeah. Turn it to green. Let's get the green going. The green light. Oh, it's we're going green. The light's green, so it's gonna go green, right? Back to blue. It gets weird. It gets like a weird skin color going on. Are you gonna short VIPS? Yeah, I'm already short. I'm already screwed on this one. I was thinking we might get that break of that support there at the 1015 area, but might not get it. Uh, I'm going to look to cover VIPS here above this 1028, 1030 area if we get up there. You could probably just cover now and get a small loss, maybe short it after it breaks 1015. That'd probably be the smart thing to do. But I don't know. What do you guys think? Cover now at 1020. Wait for the break of 1016, then short it again. Yeah, that support has some history to it.
Yeah, I look at I was looking at L A K E for possible short as well V I P lakes. L A K E gapping down this morning, but not a lot of volume. Not much going on yet. See what happens at open. Good one to watch for open. Need some volume to fill in. It's got a five cent ticker. If it does crash. It'll crash pretty quick. So keep an eye on that one. V I P S. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna. You think we should short it? Um, I mean, I'm kind of waiting for this 10, 16 area. If you can get filled at 10, 20, I mean, you'd probably be pretty good. You can uh, get in there. Looking at MRNS for a short. Uh, maybe not really any volume yet. We'll see where that one goes. Did it gap down? No, it's like right there. F E N G still kind of moving down here. F E N G could be a short below that 389 area. Yeah, maybe for a move down here to the 370s. Still that big buyer there, like 385, holding it up for now. Good time to go short if you want to get big size though. Uh, VIPS. I never really screwed myself on this one. I guess I didn't really, really screw myself, but I waited for that break of the 1015. DGLT, yeah, that one's not gonna open up, I don't think, for a while. You guys traded DGLT. Anyone, anyone still holding DGLT from yesterday? DGLT, anybody, anybody? DGGG, -G -G. come on, BIPS, got to get through this, 1016. Doo -doo -doo. Reason Stratton, powerful name in the lawnmower world. TTPH, what's up with TTPH? Uh, no sh no shares are short for me. Maybe maybe for a long later. SDLP kind of gapping up, but not doing much. You can see here yesterday closing there at 269, gapping up there to 350 now. Got to keep an eye on VIPS. VIPS at a fine line here, fine line. Check out LB, 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 LB. L brand. Gapping down. Yeah, uh, if you use margin, you have under $500, you'll be penalized. IMMU, what's up with IMMU? -M -M nothing yet, bad earnings, but nothing moving around yet. Man, VIPS, this does not want to break. 1016, holding there. Oh, Victoria's Secret. Oh, you don't want to, you don't want to short LV, Victoria's Secret. Come on now. I keep those girls in the tiny little lingerie. Why did I jump in with no volume? It had volume. 366,000 shares traded this morning so far. It's got a decent amount of volume. Better than, better than some opportunities. VIPS having some trouble here. Gotta get through this 1016 area. Come on now. Uh, 
SDLP. What's up? A little sell off. Got shares are short there. Uh oh. Had a high there pre market at 350. Pulled back pretty hard. Gapped up yesterday, like I said, from that 270 area. Might be a short there at open. BIPS. Just getting that support there. 1016 does not want to break. Oh, you were watching someone else live. Now you're watching me because it's cool. That's that's sweet. That's a nice compliment. Thank you for that. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I do not see the float, but you can kind of see what the float is just by kind of looking at the chart, seeing the volume and seeing what's moving around. Oh, I'm in the green. We're in the green, boys. Here we go. The IPS. Get this crack. <laughs> five dollars. Cover for five dollars. Buy me a uh, five dollar foot long. On the house. Put it on the sure trader account. Five dollar foot long. Up oh, 35 45. Here we go. Now we're getting it. You get some selling through that 10 11. Beautiful. See if we get this crack of ten dollars here. The IPS. Let's do it right here, right now. Let's see if I can cover there at like 10.05, maybe. 10.06 would be sweet cover. Uh, come on, get this crack. Oh, it's squeezing. I'm gonna put a bid out there at like 10.07, see if I can get filled there. Probably won't. Get it, get it, come on. 10.07, let me get that fill. Nope. Big buyer stepping up here at 1010 there on VIPS. I think I'm going to cover here. I'm gonna cover there at 10:15. Just play it safe. I don't like it. I'm gonna wait till open. See if we short it again. Not a big deal. Not making a ton of money. Made 65 bucks there, but I'm gonna wait. The IPS. Maybe it'll crash down further, but. There it is, squeezing back higher now. That 10, 10, that 10, 10 area kind of popped up there, big buyer, and I was like, eh, didn't like it. Now it might crash. Oh, there it goes. There it goes back down. Classic. This 10.06 breaks, I'm gonna be really, really sad. Good morning, John Vale in the house. Everybody put a round of applause for John Vale entering the chat room. I need some like, I need some music, but I don't know if the music's like too much sometimes. I feel like just listening to me talk here is really boring. Some music playing, you know, that it's like boom, boom. Yeah, VIPS, I'm definitely, uh, this is probably one of my, the top top picks for this morning to short it open. Maybe get a nice pop back over the 1050 area, it'd be beautiful. Even get back up that high of the pre-market there at 1060 on a big candle just straight up and then boom, short it, double top, let it crash back down to $10, get that, 10, that 50 cent move there. Have I made profit? Yeah, I made a made a big big wad of $65 so far this morning on VIPS. I hate how these damn charts like go big and then get small. Welcome to the live show where we make $65 in a matter of minutes. Just kidding. This is, I'm not proud of that, but it's better than I was actually red. I was in the red uh, $65 for a little bit. So good thing that I covered when I did. Uh oh, I'm getting some selling going here. You guys told me to cover. You guys told me to cover. And if this goes higher, it's all your fault. 
Uh, am I using per trade or para trade? I, I uh, no, I get four point. What is it? Four point nine five. Pretty much like five dollars per trade for ten thousand shares. Oh, there's the crack. It's coming. This ten oh six is gonna crack. Watch. Dun 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 dun. Crack crack crack. Should be proud. I'm proud. I'm proud. I'm actually proud that you guys are all here hanging out. And there goes that crack. It's happening. Uh, come on. Well, we can out. We can watch it. We can. We can all uh, imagine if I would have had a thousand shares there at 1018, what my profit would be right now, covering below ten dollars. So we'll just, we'll, we'll, fictici we'll fictitiously imagine. Zach, you gotta, you gotta bump up your volume there. If you uh, bump up your volume for sure, trader, they'll give you a better commissions. Do I do one-on-one -on -one trading? Uh, maybe. Yeah, I've done a little bit of one-on-one -on -one trading. Uh, well. Training, yeah. If you have questions or people ask me questions or whatever, I can figure something out. What's moving around? Let's see. L-A-K-E. What's up with L-A-K-E? Nothing yet. So I don't know about that one. Damn, music is crazy right now. All right, we're up to 245 people watching. Can we get over 300? Over if we get over 300 people watching by the open, we'll uh, I'll do something crazy here, like short some crazy stock and write it open. I might do that anyway, but it'd be funner to have 300 people watching while I do it. VIPS, don't do this to me now. Don't do this to me. I want this to spike up. I need this to spike back up to like high, at like 1050 would be beautiful. I feel like if you short this at open now at ten dollars, get maybe like a small crack. It might get a little of a bounce. You need some. Some bullish movement here. DR2K, you just got to get better at the greens, man. If you guys ever want to watch some really funny uh, NBA basketball, I don't even know what you call it, gaming stuff, that DR2K, he's a master of the video games. Trading game, are you going to buy at $10 for that bounce, huh? That's, that's a guy like it. Let's do it. You buy it for the bounce, pump it up there at 1050. I'll short it. We can all make money here. We can all make money together. I'm looking at VIPS here. I like to see a bit of a bounce. If I can see a bit of a bounce, it'd be nice. You know, if we don't get a bit of a bounce, we'll see. I don't know. The problem now is if I short it here at a break of $10, you know, maybe get a small crack and then get a squeeze. It's like one of those setups now. I always hate shorting like into weakness at open. I want to short like into strength at open. I guess, I guess I do both, but it'd be nice to have a nice little cushion. Get this to squeeze up some, get some resistance there, you know. Because if you short here at ten dollars, this cracks, and then all of a sudden starts to squeeze. It's just gonna be like, it's gonna just run up real quick. So we really need that kind of bounce. That ten oh six area is holding for now. See it open, and we get a nice bounce, and then short it. Am I still in the other chat room? Yeah, I'm. In, I'm in the other chat room still. Speaking of other chat room, there it is. 257 watchers. Let's do this. Over 300. I'm going to do something crazy here at open. Something crazy. SDLP. You're in it? Who's in it? What's in it? Would have been a nice short there. 336 area. Kind of double top there. 335. I don't love it for... I mean, it's all right. It's okay. A little bit of a gap up. Now it's kind of pulling back here. Anybody got a thesis? What's up with why did SDLP gap up? Anybody know? I'm just I'm just playing trading trading gamer. I'm gonna I'm gonna short something at open either way, no matter how many people are watching. Even if a, a million people are watching or one person's watching, there's gonna be a good opportunity to short it open. I'll be sitting there, we're waiting for it. If you guys are just now tuning in, I've already made $65, $65, that huge profits today. I'm just, just kidding, but you can get an idea. I'm already in the green today, so at open, if I lose $65, it's kind of like I'm breaking even there, but uh, paying commissions. 
Lake, L-A-K-E, just going across there. S-D-L-P. Those are Photoshop dollars. Yes. I'm actually really, really fast at Photoshopping. You guys, it was actually live for a second. Switched it back to recorded Photoshop. Got it. $65, enough to go on another cruise. No, it's not. Not, not the way that I cruise, DR2K. Not the way that I cruise. VIPS holding that 1010 area. How many shares I got to trade? Over 250,000 shares traded to get that uh, better commission. So you got you got to spend some money for a month at least to uh, to get the break. Damn, that's actually yeah. Uh, I'm at, this is actually all paper trading. If you guys didn't notice, none of this is real at all. I'm actually in the future trading this right now, live streaming it to you guys. DCTH. Oh man, DCTH. Previous runner, crazy one. Looks like we're getting a bit of a run here at open. From 15 cents up to 16 cents. Getting that 10 cent move here. I hate playing these, these little penny stocks. Just because alone, not because the commissions, but the, the ECN fees just kill you. Buy 10,000 shares, you just pay like insane amount in ECN fees. Is this, I don't, this, this stream isn't real because life isn't real. Money isn't real there, Maddie. Someone, uh, a wise man once told me that money is not real. And I, I actually start to believe it now that I started day trading because I just literally press a button, money appears, and then I press another button and then money disappears. So it's like buy, sell, money there, money gone, lose money, buy money, all that. I don't even know if it's real. It's like the matrix, basically, this whole stock market thing. What made me short VIPS? Uh, well, I was thinking we might get this break there at that 1015 area. It was really selling off there, had a lot of resistance. It was selling down. It had some uh, support there, the 1015 area previously, kind of bouncing there, 1010 area. And uh, someone, someone pointed that out. I, you know, I saw that, but I thought we might just get a nice waterfall of selling here. Bad news, at least down to the $10 area, but actually got a little bit of a squeeze and then kind of got stuck there, 1015 again. And then, you know, the old, the WeWap is at 1030 now. So maybe you get that moved up to 1030, up to the WeWap area. And then from that 1030 WeWap, we can uh, get a nice short opportunity. Who's your favorite day trader to learn the most from? Uh, I don't want to sound like I'm conceited because I learned the most from myself just from screwing up over the, over the last year. Literally, I actually, I, it's funny because people always ask me about the videos and I actually, oh, there it goes through 1005. It's going VIPS. Oh no, no, $10 is gonna break. $10 is gonna break, watch this. No, $10, look at the buyer there, $10, it's trying to break it. Ding, 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 ding. Holding for now. This is not what I wanted, I did not wanna see this crack. I wanted to wait for open to see this bounce. So I had a good entry there on VIPS. I mean, not an amazing entry. I probably could have got short here at the 1025, 1020 area. I think 1020 would have been easy to get short at there. Could have waited for this kind of, you know, I should have waited for this balance off the 1015 area, but at the at the time, it, oh, 998 now. At the time, VIPS kind of bounced there at 1015. It looked really weak. There was a big seller stacking up there. And I was like, okay, this is looking pretty good. So I shorted it. Probably could have waited and maybe let that bounce for, for a second, would have got a better entry there. Probably could have, you know, rode this a little bit longer. Had a better entry there. VIPS has a has a history of bouncing back on bad earnings. Okay, okay. I think either way, if we could, if we just get a bounce at, of at open here on VIPS, there'll be some kind of downside. You know, we get a nice bounce, we'll get a nice sell. There'll be some kind of selling going on. So we just need to get some support going, some some bounce here. What platform do I use? I'm using SureTrader Pro, which is basically SureTrader Pro is Dash Trader Pro, if that makes any sense. So SureTrader basically just calls Dash Trader Pro, SureTrader Pro. That way they think that you're getting some crazy software, but you're really just getting Dash Trader Pro, which is actually really expensive to use if you don't use SureTrader. Taking profit early, classic. Yeah, that's, 
that's, I'm a, that's my bumper sticker actually on my uh, car. It says taking profit early. Hashtag classic. How can we get in contact? You can email me. Um, there's a couple of links in the videos, websites. I'm not going to shout it out here, but you guys can check it out if you're looking to hit me up about anything. We're at 292 watchers. Let's go all the way. Don't leave this channel until we hit 300. Just do it for me. Let's do this all the way. F E N G F E N G. What's up with F E N G? You think it's going to go higher F E N G there, Jesse, or what? Are you thinking, uh, hold this down? What will happen at 300? Well, what will happen is we'll hit 300 watchers and uh, it'll be it'll be good. That'll, that's what's going to happen. We're there. I'm not no, I was I was kidding. G, this, not paper trading. This is this is a real account. No paper trading. I I can prove that that's a real account because if you go here, unlike most traders, you can actually see my account number, which is PF PFS. Those numbers there, you can go ahead and just steal all my money, but Get an idea. If it says PFS there at the beginning of the account, that means you're not paper trading. And that's not Photoshopped if you want to say that. But when you're paper trading, it says like a different account number there. I think it's like a different, it's not PFS. Paper fake scam. Damn it. How did you figure it out? What is the plan? The plan is VIPS right now. Anybody else? If you have a better opportunity, let me know. I'll, I'll look at it. I'm not scared to uh, take advice here, guys. We're working together. So I don't want you guys to think that this is like, I don't want you to think that, oh, I'm just sitting here watching this idiot talk about stocks. You guys can help me help you. We can all look at stocks together. We can make some money as a team here. Over 300, there it is. We're a big team now. 300 people looking for fucking stocks and trading. So let's hit it. Let's, if you got an idea, let me know. Short AMD, don't want to short AMD. SDLP, let's see. I We looked at it earlier. What was it doing? Kind of balancing there. Does anybody know why SDLP popped up? I don't want to look for the news, but uh, why did it gap up in the first place? Short DCTH and SDLP. Claymate, I know this guy. He, yesterday he called it uh, F-E-N-G. He's going to call it again today. He's going to tell me that he's, I, I told you to short it. That's what insulates itself from a pending break, bankruptcy. And I, don't, I don't really like that news, but maybe it's not enough to really get it to move here. IDXG, I don't think IDXG has any shorts. Let's see. Last time I looked, there wasn't any shares of shorts. So IDXG had a big run the last couple of days. Might be the first red day here, but no shares of short for me. So it might be stuck starting something else. LB. I like the idea of LB just because it's a uh, big retail company. What do you guys think about LB shorting it? How far do we go? What's the the idea on LB? What's the daily look like? Daily, weekly, just not really anything close by. So this might just be one of those just crash. Bounce play off the 50. If I, yeah, I feel like I'm it's against lingerie to short LB, but sometimes you got to you got to uh, pay to play. Under 36 for a short could be nice. Yeah, LB. Yeah, I wouldn't. I don't like LAKE either. It's five cent ticker, but also has not moved. Just like what's going on there? A little bit of a little bit of a pop there. Finally breaking off that 1380. Just going sideways there. VIPS. Not getting the bounce that I was hoping for. I was hoping for that bounce up to that, you know, 1025 area, 1050 area. It'd be nice. How much do I, do I pay for the trading platform? It's like $104 a month, right? $104 a month for sure. Trader pro as what it is. So yeah, it's, it's interesting. That's for sure. Boom. Derek knows I like, it's actually pretty cool when people actually comment on the channel and answer the questions for me. So if you guys ever see a question that you know the answer for, just go ahead and answer it for me. Helps me out. Why not use other cheaper brokers? What other cheaper brokers are there? Oh, there we go. VIPS getting a little bit of a move here. Getting some volume. Look at that spike in volume there. 121,000 shares traded there. 
LB going down. There's my bounce. Let's get, I know, I don't want to sort it just yet. Big seller there, 1014, holding it down there, VIPS. I'm gonna wait for open here. Got 30 seconds till open. We're going live all the way through open. SDLP. Trade zero? I don't know. I, I, you can't. You have to be a. You can't be a U.S. citizen to use trade zero. So that won't work out. All right. So we're looking for the open here. We're like 10:30. Watching VIPS. Where are we watching LB as well? A lot to watch right now, guys. I don't know if I can watch all these damn stocks. LB. What's gonna happen here? LBs. Bouncing, VIPS, this is the one I'm watching right now. IMMU crashing there. Got shares just short there. Got shares just short. Damn, microphone is hard to type sometimes around the microphone. I am MU crashing down from that 788 area down to the 750. See if we get some kind of resistance going up on that. Get a little bit of bounce here. There's that VIPS bounce up to the 1025 area. How many stocks am I watching right now? I'm watching basically all the stocks that you're seeing on the chart. I'm watching LB, IMMU, watching LAKE, watching VIPS here. See if we get a double top here at the 1025 area. What do you think? VIPS holding this 1020 area. See if we get over that 1025, maybe for a. I'll wait for like a new low here to see if this is going to crack. 1019, 1020 support. Oh, there goes VLB now. LB pulling down through that $36 area. Not gonna lie, VIPS had me preoccupied here. Nice little short there on LB if you got it. I think somebody got 36.60. Nice, nice work. I'm gonna call you just the box, box TV over there, hitting that short there on LB. Nice little drop there. VIPS here, look at that squeeze. That was kind of what I was worried about. So, you know, that $10 support holding there, getting that squeeze higher here. IMMU getting some resistance there. Could be a good short. Not a lot of volume so far, but kind of getting a double top there at the 778 area. Might see if we get another move higher here. SDLP on the move. I like this. You guys just shouting it all out. We think below 315, 314, maybe going short there. Maybe we'll try it out. Looking at SDLP to go short below this 314 area. I want to see it convincingly break there. Oh, not getting filled there. Trying to get three filled there at 312 there on SDLP. Not getting filled on that first drop. F E N G, what's up with F? Uh, S D L P just moving lower here. Ouch. 
Try to get filled there on this break of 314 there on SDLP. Couldn't get filled. Now it's down there to 308. Maybe it's going to go lower from here. You can see on the five minute chart, got a nice gap all the way down there to 270. So if this breaks through that $3 area, you could get a nice move all the way back down there. SDLP kind of bouncing back here. IMMU. Getting a nice solid downtrend right now. I might try to short it here to see if this 735 gets eaten out. Which burger do I use? Sure, Trader. Come on now. Nice work, Zach, on SDLP. There's no volume here on IMMU. Got a big buyer there at 735. Just shorted there. Oh, didn't get it. See if I can get filled. Just put, a, put an order out there. 735, see if I can get filled there. Pulling out of that. See if, I am, see if IMMU wants to get up here to this 745, 750 area again for a short. That would be nice. Got the VWAP at the 743 area. So kind of watching that. So overall, I got what LB bounced down a little bit. There we go. That 741 area. IMMU getting back up there. Seven fifty, see if that seven fifty area is on a hold here on IMMU goes short there. Uh, I'll pull the trigger here. Nope. Wow. Missing out here on IMMU just constantly. Look at LB doing the old bounce, the old, the old bear trap there. Getting all these shorts to pile in there. And then boom, squeeze higher. That's exactly what happened here. Everybody shorted this at open on this spike. Got a bunch of shorts piling in there. Everybody's shorting, shorting. And then everyone who's not stuck, everyone who's stubborn didn't cover here at 3580. And then boom, this squeezes back up there to 37 almost. So get an idea of what happens there on a bear trap. I don't see anything that just looks amazing here right now. No, one, another one of those days. Look at VIPS up to that 1050 area. It's exactly what I was talking about. Worried about how that $10 area was going to hold there. And look at it now. Back up there to 1050. 1053 just squeezing higher. It would have been, been a good uh, long opportunity. Anybody go long there on VIPS? Look at that move there. Nice little move from $10 up there to 1055 now. FENG. Where is FENG at? Nice, crashing down there, 50 cent move. What do you guys think? FENG below this support there at the 377 area. Nice work, Austin, buying VIPS there. What the fuck? Not enough buying power. Freaked in. Wow, F-E-N-G, trying to get short there at 373, having a problem with my buying power. I'm not sure what's going on there. BW short, what's up with BW? Ooh, look at this one. I shorted a BW the other day, actually. Made a lot of money on this one, so maybe trying it again. I like BW. It's a slow mover. This one's one of those ones that you just kind of 
you're gonna short it and it's just gonna go lower or it's gonna go a little bit higher and get out for a small loss it's not a big deal you're not gonna not gonna get exploded on no exploding on this one big buyer there at 241 on bw for now you can see a nice trend lower from 1050 down to that 1041 now dr2k you made 100 bucks damn hitting those greens baby that's all i like to see up again on lb you go short short and lb in on bips everyone's making money why is everybody else making money i'm not what's going on here you guys can just go ahead and tip me every time you make money <laughs> oh man lb looking short under 35 20. yeah yeah that could be that could be a fun one LB under 35.20. Did it get, I got all, no. Yeah, 35. 36.20 you meant. DGLT, did it open up again? Did it open today? No, DGLT still closed, down 100%. Hopefully uh, you guys aren't holding DGLT from yesterday. That was not a fun one. IMMU, squeezing higher there. Good thing I didn't go short, actually. I go for the red to green move here. BW looking like it wants to crack this 241 area. Going short there on BW at 241, looking for this move lower. I'm just going to play this real tight. Literally, it was like a three cent stop on this. See if we can get a little bit of a bleed out here on, BL, on BW. BW bleed out. So I'm in short right now on BW there, 1,000 shares. Basically going to play it for just like a break even. If this wants to get back up above 241, I'm going to get out. It has no volume, but if you look at this, look at this trend. It's just been going lower and lower and lower here. So even if with no volume, we might just get a nice bleed, you know, just slowly creep out there. BIPS, what's it doing? Ooh, look at this thing. Going higher and higher. I mean, literally nothing but green candles. VIPS, that's really screwed up by not going long on this one. That's one of the things I've had an issue with lately is just I get these stocks that I go want to go short on or I talk about going short and I miss out on a move like this because I'm like, oh, this is short. I'm like waiting for a short opportunity, but Really, I should have went long here on VIPS. So if you went long on VIPS, congrats on that one. Beautiful move here so far from that $10 area. You really could have got in here at 1025. So you had pre-market high there at 1025. Could have got that move up to that 1085 area now. I mean, really, you had the red candle there at 1044. But other than that, you didn't get really any dips. Maybe a small dip here, but boom, boom, boom. Higher, 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 higher. Just going. Really crazy one. Getting a little bit of a drop here on BW. There we go. And then you get this drop below. I think it might just bleed. So we're just going to hold it for a little bit. There we go. 337 now. 339. Just slowly bleed out here. That'll be the goal for today. Just, it's, not, it's not the typical momentum trade that I normally do. But I've made a lot of money. I've, I've made a lot of money trading BW in the past and looking here at the chart. I mean, the last couple of days, this thing has been going lower and lower, steadily lower, just nothing really happening on this stock for the, what the last like week. So had a little bit of a pop recently, but you see it gap down from the $10 area and it's just been going lower and lower and lower. So we might get a nice little move. You know, I get a hundred bucks on this baby. The IPS gapping down. I missed out on a gap. Oh, look at that. I, I, I might have jinxed it actually talking about this how it was going higher and higher but that's what happens you get these big moves look how extended this was off the moving average there got up there to 1090 1088 beautiful short opportunity there you kind of double top 1088 and look at that drop down to 1050 so a quick little short there if you would have got that see if we get this v 
BW is to head lower here. I'm up 30 bucks. Slow and surely, baby. Slow and surely on this one. Worst come to worst, I break even on this. It's it's a great trade so far. Uh oh, jinx myself in this one too. Now it's gonna squeeze higher. I'm gonna cover at 340 if this wants to go higher. Jinx is going back up again. Just do whatever. Just do the opposite of what I talk about. So if I say this stock looks like a good short, just go long at that point. One of those days. Hey, you know, what's the purple bar? I don't know what the purple. I think that's like an in between, in between the bid and the ask. Is that what that volume is? You get a lot of buyers between the bid and the ask. Somebody answer that. Anybody got a question? Getting some sellers there on BW. Come on. Slow, slow selling. SDLP doing the old U shape. I made a video about this actually. The classic U shape. So basically, uh, you know, you get this high here, it crashes down, find support. Opportunity to go long and probably be above this 314 area for that possible move back to that high there at open. And working out there. If you would have followed that, if you'd have done that. SDLP making the move higher here. 335 now. Pre-market high there at 335. Can get it, it'll get above 335. Be a nice move. We'll see if it wants to do it. I'm still short there, BW. Just my grandma. This is my grandma. This is my grandma's kind of short. Nice and slow. Letting it go. NBW. Ah. Oh. Are you sure? I don't really want enough. I don't know if I want to NBW. Got so much potential to go so, so low. Man, everybody's making money today. You guys are all on fire right now. I want to. I gotta get like a, a dual live screens. I want to see some. I want to see everybody else's screens. So I can see what you guys are doing and just trade you guys. Who made money already? I made a little bit of money. You making any money, Clay? What's up? Double top on VIPS. Double top, but this thing is just going higher. I don't know about. I would not. I would not be too uh, sure about shorting this one just yet. I don't really like to short stocks that just have crazy up upside trends. Cause look, even on this dip, got down to that 1060 area to squeeze right back to that high. So. The bulls are in power right now. They're on VIPS. I would wait for this to like break down, maybe get back below 1060. So, you know, 10, 1090 breaks, get this move lower. Let the trend really break down there. You can see the five minute candles. Just green, 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 green. My boy DR2K knows about that. Green, green, green. Nice work, Jesse, getting that $50. $50 a day keeps the, the uh, tax, the, well, maybe not the tax man, but the doc, the somebody away. I keep the doctor away. BWAP break there. T yeah, 1048. That's going to be, yeah, that would be a pretty good one. Uh oh, SPEX. Get These are all seeing the owners there. <laughs> SPEX jumping up there. Be a good one. Bahat. You got the high there at what 132, 182, 182. Kind of watching that 180 area there on SPEX. Keep an eye on SPEX here. Look for a move here, maybe a new high of day.
Hope you guys enjoy my whistling. Yeah, I know it. That was that was a wrong analogy. It does not keep the tax man away, Zach. I, I was wrong with that one. It'll keep the tax man on your doorstep. Want that fifty dollars that you made? Give me that fifty dollars. You made fifty dollars today. Give me, give me, give me, get it. Let me get that. Man, this is just really. You guys, you don't understand how much fun this is. Normally, you know, I'm sitting here day trading and just talking to myself, and it's boring as shit. But now I have a just a uh, stable of fun people to talk to. Patrick, am I Mr. P? No, I'm not Mr. P. I'm Patrick. Mr. P is a figure, just like, I don't even know what, how to explain it. Just a uh, person of the world. Need a dog. I don't know. Dogs are terrible. Dogs ain't got to take a shit or got to piss when I'm in the middle of a trade here. You know, BW might last all day here and I'm not going to be able to get up. It's going to be a really long day here. Mr. P is a computer, yes, possibly. The dude does not breathe, sleep, or eat. Just lives off the stock market. Someone shortened VIPS there, 1080. Did you get short there, Jordan Pepper? Or are you just calling it out? You just want me to short it so then I get squeezed. What software? Using Dash Trader Pro. Sure, Trader Pro. Yeah, I'm not, I'm, I'm gonna pick my nose, but uh, you're in short there. Uh oh, here we go. Jordan Pepper is in short here on VIPS. We can all live through him. He's out there at 1081 short. We'll see how it goes for him. Uh oh, BW moving down, guys. It's moving lower. Seeing my PL slowly creeping up there. I've not been in the red for one second on this trade. I love those kind of trades. You go short and you just ding, 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 watching the pennies stack up there. All right. Jordan, what are you going to do here, buddy? 1081 short. Getting some support there at the 1073 area. Asphalt Cowboy, what's up, man? Talk to you on Twitter, right? Yeah, good. welcome to the, the live show of, of nothingness right now. SPEX, someone's long. SPX up to that dollar eighty area like I was talking about. Wants to break above this dollar eighty. Looking for this move, new move. High of day. Oh, Jordan Pepper covered. I thought I thought we were really gonna get a look at that. It's going lower, Jordan. Why would you cover? I told you not to cover. I'm just kidding. That. Oh, VIPS going lower here. 1065 now. BW, what's up, with BW? Look at this thing. Just. I told you guys. This is one of. This is like my grandma short. This is one of those stocks you just short it, and it just a little. It's just gonna go lower and lower and lower and lower gonna be a slow one hey do not blame me for taking profit Jordan do not blame me because that VIPS could have easily squeezed much higher from there look at it, now it's going higher so you were you were good you're good don't worry about it 1075 again If anybody wants to go and just dump like a couple thousand shares there on BW, just be my guest. Ten, at the 235 area, it'd be sweet. Go ahead and crash it down for me. How old am I? You guys guess. How old do you think I am? Somebody might already know because they watched the videos where I talk about it. HR, I told you, man. It was just one of these, you know. Some days it's just better to not have the stress of having to worry about the potential of these crazy movers. Just get a stock like this, BW. I should have shorted this one way earlier. Short in there, you know, at the, t at the 247 area would have been a lot better entry, but I got 241. 28, boom, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. 18, that's me. My girlfriend thinks I'm 18. My, uh, my, what do you call it? My, uh, what do you call that? If I'm, if I'm 18, my, like, level of intelligence, I guess. No, 28, guys, so not 31. Anybody said I'm 31, you're, you're, you're fired. You're out of the chat room. 11. A baby ma. All right. You guys are all making fun of me for trading BW over here, but this thing is going to crash. It's going to go lower here. Here it goes. 60 bucks now. I'm up 60 bucks. And I didn't even have to sweat for this one. Literally, I just like closed my eyes and this one went lower. Now it's going to go higher. Oh, man. I'm jinxing it.
I might cover there at 235 for 60 bucks if it gets back down there. Or I might cover here at 363. I don't know. Maybe I'll just let it go. I hate to watch it. It's almost 10 o'clock. I want to be done for the day. I want to go do some stuff. I might go see a movie. Might just. I don't even. I hate. That's the one thing about uh, when you just don't have anything to do is you just get bored. And the last thing I want to do is sit here all day long and just boredom day trading. Hey man, BW on the scanner. Is it on the scanner? Is it looking good, HR? Do I love this? Oscar, I, I I like it, man. Let's all let's all make some money together. There's no reason that we can't all make. That's the best part about day trading is, I doubt that the, uh, there's enough of people. I, I doubt that you guys are that big of whales that we have to worry about each other's volume. We can all trade the same exact stocks, short the same exact stocks, do all that fun stuff, and make some money together. What do you guys think? BW, hold it for longer. Take the profit there. Sixty dollars. Just I'm putting it to you guys. This is up to you guys. Let's see. BW, do I cover here? Sixty bucks in the profit, or do I let it go lower? Come on. What do you guys think? Hold it. All right, we're holding it. Take profit. One take profit. One hold it. One hold. The IPS. There it goes, breaking that trend down. Look at the five minute chart now. So you know, I had this five minute chart. It was going higher and higher. Nice solid trend there. And then boom, this basically this candle here broke it. We look to go short here on this spike back up to 1070 area. Jordan, you'd be rich right now, man. Why would you not? Why did you cover VIPS? I'm, I'm just messing with you. But really, DGLT still not open. You can go ahead and frame this chart because it might never open again. This might be the last printed stock. Well, actually, it went higher than that, didn't it? Yeah, it went above a dollar. I don't even know why it's showing that. DGLT, did it open today? No. It didn't open today. BW. We need a, yeah, YouTube. I want to actually, you know, that? did you guys ever see that uh, the Reddit where the guy was actually going to trade his whole entire account just by people basically like telling him what to do on Reddit. So people would all just like vote on like buy this stock, buy this stock. And it was like a, everybody voted. So we'll do that with BW today. See if uh, 236 walk away. And that's, that's sounds like a, that's a good, uh, good place to cover. I think you should cover the short. It looks like you're just going sideways with Mitch result and a squeeze on BW. How about the short? I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna see if we get 235 printing. If we get 235 printing, I'll cover here on BW. BW consolidating. Don't tell me that. Somebody just go crash it. Come on, go crash BW for me. I know somebody here got some got some money can can drop on it real quick. Just sell into that 234 area, crash it down for me. I'll cover, and then you can. You can cover. HTZ, what's HTZ doing? HTZ up to that 1960 area. Old Carl Icon pumping this baby up. This I hate this company, guys. This is such a shit joke of a uh, of a move here. This stock it should be in the eight dollars right now, but because Carl Icon billionaire wants it above twenty dollars, it's gonna go above twenty dollars. So that's what happens when you play against big money, and I played against big money and I lost. Oh, Carl, I can't beat me there. All right, we covered there on BW. I, I don't like it. Like somebody said, it's getting that kind of consolidation there, 234. So I'll cover there. What's that going to put me out? On the day, going to put me up. Look at that. Almost $60 on both trades. 120 bucks. Big money, big money. Like I said, I've been trying to, been trying to be smart here, guys. Been trying to play it a little bit better and, uh, you know, take profit when I got it. Not try to force these trades. The other day I had a really big red day just because I was being an idiot going with like three or 4,000 shares on the open, just getting those big crashes and getting screwed. All right. So I'm, that's two trades a day, two winners. Should we go for a third trade. We'll see.
Yeah, I mean, it's not it's not that it was a big loss, Techno Tard. Not to call you a Tard, but it's your name. But it was uh, just kind of annoying because I, I know what I did wrong there, you know? GCAP. Short it. Got a short sale restriction here. Gonna make it difficult to short there. Yeah, I could I could get on that train for the VIPS short below that 1050 area. Get below that V the V WAP. The V WAP V we WAP. Techno Tard. Sorry, man. It, it's it's a funny name. It's just I don't I try to call you Tard, but it's just your name. Yeah, I do like the idea of VIPS below 1050. I, I'm not gonna lie about that. Yeah, I mean, VIPS, maybe it wants to go higher from here, but I think if we get that break through the VWAP here at 1052, we'll get a nice sell-off. Probably back down that 1040 area at the minimum. You know, I think if we break 1050, we'll definitely get a sell-off to 1040. Short on the bid, bro. Yeah, I know, no. Yeah, I got that. I always short on the bid, unless it's like a really crazy stock and I can short on the ask. LB. You guys are all betting against the lingerie, huh? There it goes. 35.60 lower. Nice. There's too much to watch here. The VIPS, that 1060 area is looking like it's holding for now. Looks like it wants to crack. This room is cool. Let's make it happen every day. Okay, we're going to make it happen every day. 24 hours a day. Just live streaming like the Big Brother house, but uh, not. Oh, I got to turn on the green because we're in the green now. Watch this. Nope. Nope. Not working. Whoa. Like kind of flash. I think it's crazy. Oh, now it's really flashing. Dun, 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 dun. You put your VWAP on how many? What? What do you guys think about the flashing? That's pretty crazy. Put it back on the green, because we're in the green right now. Then it makes me look green, so that's not... We're going for the blue. First Pornhub video. That would be pretty fun. Get the old webcam out. Just knock one out. Um, back to the stock trading, actually. What's my account up to? Uh, my account is up to a certain amount of money. People always ask me about, uh, how many period your VWAP? What does that mean? How many period my VWAP? How long do I take? How long do I think it start takes to become consistently profitable? Uh, at least a year. Honestly, you just need to take a year of get, of learning. It sounds, you know, the problem with day trading is you can start an account right now and you can do exactly what I'm doing. Like you can do all of this, but you, you just won't have the emotional fortitude really to do it. So it's like a weird thing. So you can try to become a day trader. You can become a day trader, but just can't do it. No, all right, Jesse, go get to work, man. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Get back here tomorrow morning, 9 a.m., Jesse, on the dot. You better be in here. When you have a big red day, post a video to Pornhub saying Big Trader gets fucked hard. Yeah, that would be a good one. Overall, market selling down. What's up with SPY? A little bit of a sell-off here. Oh, I would love to say huge red day because it's just too easy. When the whole market's selling off, you just go and short whatever big cap and you just laugh about all the profit. You make it 400 bucks a day, it's $100,000 a year. That is true. I like that stat. How much money do I make on a day to call it quits? Well, I've actually, in the past, I used to do that, but I stopped doing that for a couple of reasons because I didn't, didn't want to set a goal. One of the things I'm working on right now is just waiting for the best setups. And I want to wait, you know, like the other day I shorted HIBB, uh, BW, a couple of stocks like that where it was just like, you know, BW going sideways actually. I don't want to put a cap on it. I don't want to put like a minimum on it. Cause if I go into every single trading day with like, Hey, I got to make 300 bucks to be done for the day. Then it's like, I'm forcing myself. And then I end up screwing myself. If that makes sense. So the big thing for me is really just to wait for the best setups. 
there's going to be a setup that comes along. It's just going to be a short that I'm going to see it. And it's going to be like, holy crap, I'm going to make so much money here. And I'm going to get really, really rich. And there, look at that BW going lower now. Thanks, guys. You screwed me on that one. Just kidding. But I'm going to cover for that 60 bucks there. Ah. Oh. Don't worry. BW is going to be at like, oh, BW, what are you doing to me? Oh, ho, 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 ho. Can you show us some A quality setups like that? Uh, A quality setups. Let me see. I, I don't know if I can pull it up on the chart because it's so really hard to pull it up. But Kroger was an A quality setup, actually. Like, yeah, back in June. So Kroger gapped down. It had bad news. It gapped down. Literally pre market was like at twenty seven dollars, and by the end of that day, it had covered. It the low was like at twenty three dollars. So it was like a four dollar move, and it was nothing but red, red, red. And then literally the next day, it gapped down again because Amazon had bought Whole Foods. And it was just like beautiful. I mean, you could not lose. You could just short Kroger at any point and just sit back and make money. And that was, that's one of the setups that I want to play. You know, when I'm playing these setups like VIPS, you just don't know. I mean, you get a squeeze like this, you short it here pre-market, boom, you get squeezed, you get cocky, and then you get stuck up here covering for a big loss. So really waiting for the best setups. BW there, gapping down there to, jumping down there to 231, coming back up now. Yeah, I think everybody, I think everybody covered Kroger too early. I, I actually uh, covered it like three or four times. And then the next morning it woke up and Amazon had bought Whole Foods and Kroger had gapped down like another 20%. It was crazy. Short Trader does not charge for pre-market trades as long as you have uh, the old, uh, I guess you can do it on the web base as well. Stocks. Stock Z, you've been for the last six months. You've been going around and you've been going around in circles, not making much money, but not losing much. Can you tell me where I'm going wrong? Well, you just gotta identify and see what you're doing. I mean, it's hard for me to tell you. Are you over trading? Are you forcing trades? How many trades are you making a day? What trades are you losing on? What trades are you making money on? And kind of figure out that pattern, and then kind of figure out how to not do that pattern. I know it, it's kind of like the the basic answer to tell you, but really, I think my biggest issue in the past was. I would just force trades constantly or I don't know. I just, yeah, I would really force trades. So I don't know the, once you, once you become a, a better day trader, you figure out that you don't need to trade every single day. You don't need to make 20, 30 trades to make money in the market. Some of the best trade, some of the best day traders in the world make the least amount of trades. It's crazy. I, I actually know day traders that make on average like 10, 20 trades a year. But when they make those trades, they make twenty, thirty thousand dollars per trade, and it's just insane because they know, you know, they might wait a whole week. They might look at charts for a week, and they might not see any setups. And they don't trade, and that's kind of what I've I want to do. I like to be. I would love to be one of those traders that makes ten trades a year, and I make a hundred thousand dollars off those ten trades, and I didn't lose one. So, do I ever swing trade? Yes, I do swing trade. Got some nice swing trades actually. Uh, actually made a lot of money back in the day trading with Robinhood. As a which is swing trade overnight kind of stocks. Do I have a big account? Yes, I have a big account with TD Ameritrade that I do swing trading with. I have some positions like Nvidia. I bought Nvidia back when it was like last year. It was. I, I know people don't believe me, but you can go and see on stock twits. I was talking about this one literally. I can't even get there. But last year, this thing it won't even zoom over that far. It was at like thirty five dollars. I started getting filled up at thirty five. I got. The last of my fill, like 50 bucks. So my average is like $42. And now we're up to 175. I'm planning on holding the video for years. It'll probably just be my retirement account kind of style. See how it goes. Name some of those traders. Please follow. Please. We'll love to follow them. Um, at those traders that only that make the big trades 10 times a year, those traders aren't on social media. They're not selling subscriptions. They're not doing any of that crap. They're just uh, doing it. What's the best setup for swing trades? Um, I make a vi there's actually a video. I don't know if I can post it in here, but there's a video that actually talks about that <clears throat> where I talk about looking for overnight gappers, kind of the overnight gapper swing trades. Tim Gratani. Yeah, I mean, I always have, I always have an issue with uh, the Tim Sykes bunch. You know, I'm always kind of skeptical of, I don't know. We'll see. Who's the most inspiring trader? I don't I don't get inspired by other traders, to be honest. It's not like I'm because I mean it's not like they're not like football players or anything. It's not like they're out there doing anything crazy. The IPS breaking down here. Sorry, yeah, now we, we see it now.
Do I short this below 1053, you think? What are we thinking? Break 1050. Just move lower VIPS. Yeah, we got it. We got it. Bouncing off that VWAP there. VIPS bouncing 1053 now. Nice work. You shorted VIPS there at 1075. Beautiful. VIPS holding the VWAP right now. Get the bounce here. It could crash here. Getting some sellers stacking up there. Level two right now. 1053 holding. 1054. Big sellers. See if VWAP, oh, see if the VIPS here wants to break through 1050 here. Look at that big buyer there at 1050. Wow. Holding it up there. You guys see that big buyer there on level two? Big buyer stepping up there and squeezing it higher. Oh, custom box over there. Just killing it with LB. Taking all the models with them. Big buyer stepping up there on uh, VIPS, kind of what I was worried about. That's why I was looking for. You can see I was looking to short here at 1049. Wasn't 100% sure there that it was going to break 1050. That was a whole dollar there. The whole, what, not half dollar, whatever it is. 1050 there. Support, mental support. People buying there at 1050. Am I still with P? Yeah, I'm still with P. What do you guys, you guys are in here selling Tim Gratani trading by tickers, DVDs? Come on now. Get... Oh, let me see that BW. Wow, BW just bleeding. This one's going to go all day. Is this Sure Trader? Yes, this is Sure Trader. Crypto Quinn. Wow. BW. I, I... Painful. Look at this trend. Just lower, lower, lower. Going lower and lower and lower. Can I short hand hold? What's a hand hold? I don't even know. You're going to hold my hand? Did not buy any DVDs. Do not waste your money on DVDs, guys. Don't do it. Don't do it. I promise you. Worst investment ever. RADA go short. Uh, maybe. Not a lot of volume. Only 23,000 shares traded there on that one minute candle. Patrick Whelan is my professional, is my favorite professional day trader. I don't know who that guy is, but he sounds like an idiot. Why is your shirt trader white? Mine's black as fuck. Yeah, um, I don't know actually. This is the new version and it won't let me turn it to black. I looked everywhere for the black. Yeah, I, see people keep asking me. I don't know, honestly, I don't know why this looks different. I literally, I don't know why, I can't tell you. Shirt trade is global, global yes. All over the world, baby. Anywhere the internet, anywhere where the, anywhere where the internet is. Yeah, but how do I get to the? I can't figure out where the color scheme is. VIPS short. You guys short it there? Did it go lower? Ten fifty. Yeah, I want to short VIPS there at ten forty nine. Actually, I saw that big seller, big buyer there at ten fifty on VIPS. Um, Nathan, yeah, I probably won't short BW again just because it's like, why, why uh, try to force it? Yeah, don't buy DVDs. L literally, worst investment. Any kind of DVD you buy, it's worse. If you're going to watch a movie, go on Amazon or something, but don't buy DVDs. Navy SEAL, there are fees if you're holding a short on short trader, like a overnight short fee. So I would not suggest doing that. Set up config. Other configuration?
Hey, see, I don't have it. What's that do? Real high speed? What's real high speed do? Oh, man. LB. 35.30 now. Nice work for uh, old custom box TV shop over there. Yeah, it's not there. There's no... Uh... Dark, dark, dark. Oh, there it is. Oh, it's called blue. Look at that. The blue. What do you guys think about blue? That's like a whole new world. This really matches my whole theme. This, this is great. There it is, theme. Yes, thank you, thank you. I don't know how I messed up with that. I got two the I got two screens going. Uh, one thirty-two inch over here. No, you don't like the blue? Come on, that blue is pretty sick. Blue and black. It kind of matches the background here. It matches the overall theme. We're gonna go with the blue for a little bit. My eyes are burning. Close your eyes, damn it. Wear some sunglasses to the party. Um, VIPS. Yeah, this blue is not working actually. Kind of hurt my eyes now. Yeah, we're gonna get out of that. I might go back to the uh. To the we think dark. I don't really like dark. Honestly, I think I like the. What do you guys think? White or dark? Don't let me. Don't don't tell me about BW. God. Oh. Oh. Why did I listen to you guys? Why did I listen to you guys? Y'all y'all screwed me here. I'd be up what now? Another ten cents? Come on. Damn it. Matty Ice told me. You told me, Matty. Dark is a bit moody, yeah. Fuck. What? HR? What, who told me? You didn't tell me that. All right, I'm going back to the, the performance. I want that performance. The black is not working. I like the white. I think I'm used to the white for now. We're going back to white. Uh oh, now I really fucked up. Oh, now you guys screwed me. Look at this. Now nothing works. Oh my baby Jesus. Oh, what happened here? You guys screwed me. Now it doesn't even work. Oh, what? I can't even see anything now. Oh, fuck. Wow, now I'm screwed. Damn it. You guys broke my damn. Now I gotta use this stupid thing again. Uh, why'd I listen to you guys? Somebody would ask, why do you listen to people that are in a, in a, a YouTube chat box? VIPS. Now, yeah, now I can't even trade because I'm, my broker's all screwed up and black and blue and VIPS. Look at that. Missing out on that one because I'm playing around my damn broker. Breaking through that 1050 area. Back up there to 1049 now. See if that 1050 turns into resistance. That would be... Kind of the game plan there. You want that 1050 to hold, but it's not holding. Get that resistance there at 1055. Big buyer step up there once again there at 1052. Might be a little bit of a bear trap. I know more trading. Yeah, stop playing around here. You got to trade. You got to make some money. I only made 120 bucks a day. Oh man. I don't even want to look at BW. Ah, uh, ah, uh, guys. I told you BW was going to be a slow, slow bleeder. Look at it, bleeding slowly lower. BW shorting it there at 1041. Well, shorting it there at 241, covering here. And now it's down to here. No, that's awesome. Yeah, no, uh, Yeah, you told me it was on the scanners. All right, find something else. Got to get motivated here. I kind of want to short VIPS. I kind of don't. I don't really know.
UBXY. Should we buy like 100 shares? See if it wants to go higher. Kind of short the overall market. What do you guys think? See if we can't get filled there. You can fill it on UVXY here. Short the overall market. Might have been a bad idea. Might have been a good idea. Just 100 shares. Going small. I hate playing these tickers, but we'll see. Ten dollars. I'm up ten dollars. Up ten dollars. Up eleven dollars. Up twelve dollars. Big profit there. Ten dollars. That wasn't even worth it. Oh, we're fail. Up to thirty-five dollars now. Thirty-five oh two. Thirty-five eleven. Who's going to forty-one? UVXY forty-one. I don't know about that. Oh my. Would have been up a dollar right now. Really blew it, guys. Big trading. Ha <laughs> ha. UVXY, they're, I'm going to short VIPX. Just 500 shares here. I really hate this new theme. You guys really screwed me on this theme. Going short there on VIPS there at 1042. Look for this move. But back to the 10. How is this completely fake? Oh, we sorted there. Getting squeezed. Yeah, I should have waited for the bounce. Blew it on that one. I got I can buy a little bit more if I need to. Nice work, Jordan, making that money. All right, so I got a thousand short there now, 1044. See if we can move lower here. If not, I'm gonna cover. Once go above 1050. I gotta figure out what happened with my. We go through 1040 here. Let's do it. Big support there at 1040 right now on VIPS. That break. Got the doji form in there on the one minute chart. Get this break below 1040 here. I think we get that break below 1040. Get a nice drop down here. Pressure stacking up there at 1042 for now. Went green yesterday on the stream. Uh oh. Get some support there. VIPS 1040 needs a break. Got that key area to break there at 1040. I really hate this new theme. Ugh. 
Oh, my nose itching. The IPS looking for this break of 1040 here. 1042. Got to get through this 1040 area. Ben is so high right now, doesn't know what's going on. Oh, yeah. UVXY up to 35.40 there. Got in there at what? 34.72. Not bad. VIPS looking for that break. There it is. Beautiful. Breaking down here, VIPS breaking down now. Give it a little bit more time here. See if we get that 35. Gonna cover. Oh man. Should have covered there. Give it a little bit more time. Give it some time. Everybody wants to give it some time. I don't want to give it time. I hate the time. Got no time. Got no time. Ever cover using market order sometimes? Not really, though. I don't think I ever do, really. That's why I said that. All right. You guys are all keeping me in line here. Not going to cover. Should have covered earlier. I know, Ben. Guy who's really high told me I should have covered earlier. See, what are you guys talking about? We're giving it time. We're giving it time. If it wants to squeeze, I'm going to go. I'm going to cover if it wants to get back up above 1040, though. I don't want to go red on me. My hotkeys are limit orders, yes. The IPS right here. See if it's gonna break or it's gonna go lower, it's gonna go higher. Not liking it. Real tight here. Get this break of 1038. Get a nice crack, I think. Or oh, we're gonna get a spike higher here. Oh, going back on the red on that one. Getting out there for a loss. Ouch. I got out. I got out. I got out. Fuck. Greedy bastard. You guys, you guys did it to me. I wanted to cover. Gonna kill my PL for the day. I'll be back on like nothing.
This co the color scheme. It is the color scheme. It's messing with me. The ad of the shorts. Oh. Yeah, fuck, 10.30. Now I'm just over-trading. EVXY getting crushed there. VIPS back down there. Looking here, VIPS possibly goes short below 1040. If it wants to break. Maybe back up here, get the 1048 area, short it there. It's a high. Believe it this at at this rate alone there could have been profit. What? Ring ring. Yeah, I mean the market slows down around 10 30, 11 o'clock. Really depends on the day. VIPS back up there. Quadruple top. Going higher now. There it goes up to 1052 now on VIPS. BW just going lower. EVXY getting crushed. Look at this drop from the 35 area. Oh, my mouse. 3540 down there to 3330 on UVXY. We'll do it again tomorrow at 9 a.m. See you then. I'm over it. What do you think about SDLP here shorting this one? I'm green on the day, but barely. Ten thirty. I think I'm gonna be done. Nice work, guys. Let's do it tomorrow morning, nine a.m. Let's do it again tomorrow morning. We'll be back here, nine a.m. We'll find some good stocks tomorrow. Friday, fresh cat, fresh, fresh cash Fridays tomorrow morning. So let's do it. One more trade. No, I'm not gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna call it there. I've screwed up on VIPS. I should just let that one go. Or I should have shorted it at a better time. I don't know what I was doing there. Try to work it. Try to try to uh, force that one.
But hopefully you guys enjoyed it. This was a lot of fun, like always. So I'll see you tomorrow morning, 9 a.m. Fresh, fresh cash Fridays. We'll be here. And remember the number one rule in the stock market, that bulls and bears make money. But those damn pigs get slaughtered every time. On that note, we're out of here.